Howdy, howdy. So we're back. Today we're going to be hopefully printing our two color print on these t-shirts. Going for black and yellow. And uh, these are my poster prints. I got printed last week. Um, if you guys want to see how four colors goes on, uh, just let me know in the comments. We'll make a video about that some other day. But for now, um... Let's get screen printing. So we got our screen that we made in the previous video. If you guys missed that, you might want to go back and check it out. There's a part one, part two. So yeah, basically how this is going to go. We're going to start with the letters, which are going to be yellow. We're going to have a shirt on here. We're going to print this side in yellow. Clean up our ink. Flip our screen around then drop some black, do our black. And in between those, we're gonna have to find a way to flash dry. So yeah, I'll get some stuff ready and we'll be back whenever it's time to sweep some ink. All right, so we got our shirt on there and put these piece of cardboard just to help me line it up. And it's also gonna help the screen not to stick to the fabric we're printing on. And we have a hair dryer we're gonna use just to try and flash dry in between the layers. And everyone uses these fancy squeegees, but really all you need is, is a body fill spreader. And we're just gonna sweep some ink on there, so let's get to it. So usually what you'd do when you're screen printing, you'd lift up your screen, you would flood your your stencil, and then you would lay it down and then press it down. But since this one is like no lineup or nothing, we're just gonna try and sweep it in um, without flooding it first. See how that came out. Oh, that's horrible. Pre flutter screen for next time. And we'll turn this on. Hopefully, that's enough. And now to try and do the black. So, we're going to try and line letters up with the last letters oh now we're probably yeah yeah friggin hell crap all right now let's try something even more sketchy let's try not to mix our inks all right so we got our black in there let's try to squeeze this in there See how this one comes up. Huh. It's quite impressive. Alright. Now let's take it off of there. And there's our first two color print. Just eyeballing a lineup. Looks pretty good. Before our ink starts drying up, we're gonna throw the second one on there. Now we're gonna put our yellow away right away. We'll 
flip this around. How'd it turn out? Oh, that's horrible again. We should probably flash dry it first. Let's lay some black. So, you should also tape all your edges when you do this so you don't get a mess everywhere. But you know, I'm doing this real fast. I'm trying to prepare myself to leave for Halifax tomorrow morning early. So I got a lot of stuff to do and I gotta finish this. Now let's see how this one turns out. You wanna leave a guess how this one's gonna turn out? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's almost respectable for finish, except for the ugly ass bars. Like I said, always put some tape around your screen so you don't leak out on the corners. This is just a dumb mistake. And if you guys keep watching my videos, well, you'll see stuff gets better. So what do you guys think of them? It worked. You got the Moonfrog magazine right on the back of our t-shirts. And then after these are dried, I'm gonna give them a little bit. I'm gonna take this screen and this is gonna be the chest patch for them. So we'll get back to you when we're doing that. Now let's go wash the screen. That's good enough. Uh, rainy days. You just gotta deal with them. Now let's do some blow drying. Alright, so screen's drying. This is just to show you guys that you don't need a multi thousand dollar setup to print. You might end up uh, compromising a little bit on the quality of it, but you'll still be screen printing. You're still pushing ink through a screen and laying it on fabric. So if you can get started this way, be proud of yourself. What do you guys think of these posters? Leave a rate down in the comments. All right, so we are back and the t-shirts are dry to the touch. So it's gonna be good enough to print the chest patch and to print the chest patch like I said we're gonna use this screen yeah we're just gonna use this upper part here we're gonna tape off down here and we'll have that as our chest patch while we're at it preparing this screen we're gonna talk about what I did wrong with this shirt so you can see how like there's this spot that came through here a spot that came through here and this line right here that's because I was working too fast this morning and even up here in yellow and when you work too fast you forget steps and you mess up some stuff so as you can see around our screen here alright as you can see around our screen here there's um, a contour that doesn't have emulsion that's where we can't really reach with the scoop and it doesn't really matter even if we get some there or not but before you print if you don't want it to leak through this mesh you're gonna wanna grab some tape I use some duct tape for the round for uh, the contour And so we use duct tape for around because it sticks very well and it seals real good but when it comes to inside of it like we're gonna have to block off this part we're gonna use masking tape so it doesn't stick too much to it and we're gonna be sure that no glue um, remains in the screen afterwards so we're gonna need a chest patch so we're gonna need to offset this to the left 
You gotta wear that MFM on the heart. And now our screen is mounted and we'll go up and down at the same spot every time. Just like that. One more for good luck. All right. I think we're just gonna send it there. And this is the flooding process that I was talking about earlier that we didn't do on the last one. So basically you lift your screen you sweep some ink through it and then you come back and you press down on it and boom we have a dirty print I guess there's a hole in that screen slide that in there boom and that's a chest patch now let's do the next one Grab our piece of paper, we're going to try to line it up somewhere around here. I think right there is going to be perfect. Oh, don't move it. So now we lift up, flood, sweep down. And then you can clean your screen. And we have one more print. That don't look too bad. We'll deal with it. There's spots everywhere else anyways. Now it's just cleaning our screen and washing it again. You guys seen that before. We'll cut this out. Alright, so we're back. Screen's all washed and all dried. And shirts are up and drying. I mean, we can't say they're the best shirts ever, but we got some shirts printed. So I think it's time for a little cost breakdown for this kind of project. I'm actually going to run you about $20, $30. All the wood that you might need. Just talk to some people, make some friends. There's always people throwing away perfectly good wood that you can use. Um, scrapers. You can order some real rubber or silicone squeegees that are made for screen printing. And those are like $30. Or you can go to a good old Canadian Tire or something. Get these for like $15, $20. Save some money. Get them faster. After screen squeegee and wood. What you're going to need is some emulsion. For emulsion, you got options. Like I said, I use this stuff, the ProChem um, pre-sensitized emulsion. So this stuff is already, like you get it and it's ready to use. You just stir it up and you spread it on your screen and it's good to go. Um, this this was about 60 ish dollars you can get these small ones you get them for a lot cheaper i think i got this for like maybe 20 some dollars next thing you're gonna need is the exposure unit i got myself this lamp which is a i don't know i think it's like closer to 500 watts you can do your researches there's a lot of variations of what you can do for exposure I got this one because the day I got it I really needed it so I just ran out to a hardware store and got it for about like 30 and after you have your exposure unit set up your screens all set up and they're all burnt looking like this having a nice little pattern into them then you just need some ink I just use speedball ink you can get it from Amazon for like 16 18 dollars a pot and that's it so get a couple colors get your screen ready get some cheap bondo spreaders to scrape your your ink on figure out an emulsion scoop and after that you're ready to print basically our last step is going to be to heat set these two prints so what we're gonna have to do um we're gonna 
what we're going to have to do is put a piece of parchment paper over it and then we're going to take our iron and then we're going to iron it without any steam or nothing just dry iron and this is going to heat set into the fabric and it's going to sit more flush and feel more comfortable and be more stretchy and everything i'll get back to you guys when we're doing that all right so our shirts are all dry to the touch and it's time to heat set them so let's clean up our table and I'll get right back to you when we have our spot set up so to heat set your uh, your prints you're just gonna use a normal iron you're gonna want to make sure there's no water inside though and that the knob for the steam is turned off because you do not want any kind of moisture going into the print that's heating up now we're going to get that parchment paper so we're gonna have one of these that go inside the shirt and one that go outside because you don't want to heat directly on your print and you don't want your print to go through and stick to the back side of your shirt let's grab a shirt we'll start with the back since it's a bigger surface lay it on there take this in there and you want to make sure to feel on your shirt and make sure that your logo is on it that's not sticking out on any edge then we're gonna take our other one lay on top and you're just gonna wanna go on there never stay in the same spot always keep it moving And you're gonna do it until it's like almost too hot too hot to keep your hand on there peel it off uh, the ink was on this side rip okay let's see if we can get this off now all right so now I don't know if you guys can see it's a lot smoother and you can put a little stretch in it you can see it doesn't crack. That means the print is good and ready to wear. So now, I'm just gonna flip on the other side since the back side's all ready. And we're going to put it on the top of the chest here. We're gonna heat it up. All right, feels good to me. You gonna stretch it? It doesn't crack. I mean, she's good. Now let's look at the difference. If you guys can see it, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can definitely see and feel it. So that's how we heat sink a shirt. Now we're just gonna do the other one, and that's gonna be it for this video. And this one's all heat set as well. What do you guys think about this logo? Leave a like if you'd wear this. Alright, so this marks the end of this series. Thank you for everyone who watched it, who liked it, who commented on it, who might have even shared it with their friends. Um, this was a first for me quite a bit different from uh, just filming some skaters and having fun you know but don't you guys worry we're getting back to skateboarding here just tomorrow we're heading out to Halifax for a skate competition so if you guys want to see some of that happen too well go and click that subscribe button and we'll be here next time again and don't forget people 
Go out, be rad. That's what we're here for.